okay so this is the ford gusset plate so first one first you will get uh, the this is the front view everything is similar uh, detailing everything looks similar uh, what we have done previously and uh, we, we just give uh, rd and uh, we get the overall dimension and we give rd by placing here this is first point and i will give rd for this first second third and here uh, for doing uh, for continuously giving different rds what we will do is we just click here and add dimension point this is the easiest way of giving uh, any dimension okay of giving any rd dimension you just uh, uh, click here and you give add dimension point it is the easiest way of giving any dimension so first we will give rd and i'll complete giving rd at the top uh, and I will lock. Uh, I lock these holes. After that, again you give RD here, and this time you lock the holes of this gusset plate. You, here I have, and uh, I have one here. Okay. And after locking that, and also you lock this hole with the, the top of steel. Okay. The vertical distance. Uh, so we get the vertical distance, and and this we get the horizontal distance. So this is the vertical distance, and this is the horizontal distance. So this is completed same thing and at the bottom what i will do is for this gusset plate i will give the horizontal dimension that is rd and also i will give you the vertical dimensions from here uh, and also from the top so these are the vertical dimensions of it and also i will give the uh, part mark that is part mark center see here why i gave this part mark centered means if uh, means this gusset plate is exactly at the center. See here, we can see this is these are the gusset plates. Uh, these gusset plates are exactly at the center. So I just give them since because they are at the center, I will just uh, I will just explain. They, I just uh, tell that they are center. If they are not at the center, we must give the offset distance. Okay, and this is the way we solve the problems. And then. Uh, uh, and now we come to the path mark. So in path mark, uh, everything looks similar. Uh, all the horizontal dimensions we must give. See, first we must give this uh, uh, vertical uh, vertical dimensions and horizontal dimensions, uh, and also we must log these holes uh, with with hole also we must give the vertical dimensions, and with hole also we must give the horizontal dimensions. And how to give bevel and how to give this uh, inclined dimensions, I explained in the video. Uh, you can see uh, in that. And uh, at the top, uh, what you will do is uh, you will remove, you will stop click, and you will uh, add center line and remove the orientation mark. And this one, we know how to add tax. Uh, uh, you see the position, and you can give the tax. See here, uh, to give the center, uh, see here, you must give dimension from the center point, okay? From the center point to this, you must give the distance. Uh, so, in this way, we solve the beam with the two gusset plate and this we give the welding and welding and all so this is in this way uh, we do the beam with gusset plates so it's very simple uh, just a very simple thing uh, we can do it